It's time for some madness, baby! It's time for some food madness! of Destin to be Goblin. Destin Goblin here. Now this is usually where I will try a food product of some kind and decide whether or not I should give it my Destin Goblin seal of approval. But welcome to a very different type of Destin to be Goblin episode right now. Um, first of all, my apologies to Dickie V. Uh, I love you, baby, but I do a horrible impersonation of you. Uh, but we are in the month of March, and of course, this is the time when uh, everyone's thoughts turn to uh, brackets, and it's all about brackets. Everybody's filling out brackets, everybody's busting their brackets, and um, what, of course, we were talking about is the basketball tournament that takes place in the month of March. Now, I started thinking about how I could kind of tie some of that in uh, to my YouTube channel, and especially to all of the food items and things, and I started thinking about what would... A tournament look like if it were foods, foods, food groups, different food items, that kind of a thing, instead of basketball teams. What exactly would that look like? And then I talked to my good friend Walter, and uh, Walter, I know you're out there watching, uh, and we kind of fleshed out some ideas of this, and uh, then this is this is kind of what resulted in it. So this is either going to be uh, wildly popular, and it's going to be one of my most successful uh, videos and video series that I have here on my YouTube channel, or it's going to fail miserably, and you guys are absolutely going to hate this, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but uh, I'm going to do this over probably three, maybe four videos, depending on how long this first one goes. Um, first of all, of course, uh, I would like to say uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, if you want to subscribe to me, um, that would be fantastic. Turn on your notifi notifications and then you'll never miss a video when I put one out. Uh, if you would like to comment on this video and share this video, that would be great. And of course, give me a like. The more of those big thumbs up that you can give me, uh, the more people will see see this video and that is how we will grow this YouTube channel and then if you have uh, any reason that you would like to reach me you can do so through my email that is destinedgoblin at yahoo.com I will do my best to respond to each and every one of those emails that you send me and I will definitely take every suggestion that you make to heart. Uh, now, of course, if you absolutely hate these videos, you're probably, you probably won't do any of those things, or you might send me some hate mail or whatever, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, the other thing to remember about all of this is that this is, this is going to be completely subjective. If everybody, this is my food tournament, so my food madness tournament. So if everybody were to do one of these, if everybody were to fill one of these out, uh, every single person that watched this video do one of these tournaments, I guarantee you we would have three completely different results. See what I did there? So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. But the first thing that I did, so when I started thinking about this, the first thing that I did was I made a list of 64 of my favorite foods. And this in itself was harder to do than it sounds because not that I uh, couldn't fit everything in it was that I actually couldn't fill this out all the way um, because once you really start thinking about it finding 64 of your absolutely favorite foods that's kind of hard to do so I started out very narrowly and I identified my four number one seeds I decided to break everything into regions just like the actual tournament goes so I broke everything into regions and I got my four number one seeds and those are burgers, pizza, hot dogs, and tacos. Uh, I also identified my number two seeds and those are nachos, chili, subs, and sushi. So those are my eight absolute favorite foods. Uh, I then filled everything in with other foods that I enjoy and then I decided that I would break them into regions. Region 1 would play Region 4 in the uh, semifinals and then Region 2 would play Region 3. And then we'd end up with um, two uh, that'll end up in the, the championship game there. 
Then I used a random number generator. Once I had all of my, uh, and this is not the, the, the list that I used to write everything down. So once I had all of those foods on that list, I used a random number generator to assign a number. And then I plugged those uh, foods in to their regions and into their bracket. So uh, what we're going to do here is round one and possibly round two in this video, although we'll see how long round one takes. And I haven't thought about any of these uh, matchups yet. So we're gonna, uh, this is gonna happen in real time as we go along here. Um, the criteria that I used, and this is where my friend Walter kind of helped me, um, we were trying to decide what kind of criteria would you have to use in order to make this fair overall and um, kind of give a, an even playing field as far as some of these foods are concerned. Because if you saw some of these things on here, I have, for instance, I have a burger, which can be a very complex item. It can have a lot of ingredients to it. And then maybe something like popcorn. So just one uh, particular thing. So so what? How how does that all work? Well, we decided that the foods that have only one particular thing to them, so not a complex food, something like maybe like mushrooms or something like, uh, let's see, what else have we got here? Uh, something like ham. Um, those things could not be higher in a region than a nine seed. So to be a top eight seed, uh, you have to have, you have to be a more complex type of food. Um, so that was one of the criteria that we used. And then the ultimate judge on each one of these matchups is, uh, if I were faced with the prospect of having these two foods presented to me, and I was told that I could never, ever again in my life have one of these foods, which one could I live without and which one would I be very sad to see go? And that would be how I would determine a winner for each of those matchups. So we will head first to our region one with our overall number one seed. That, of course, would be burgers. So our first matchup that we have is burgers versus chicken livers. Now, um, you might think, OK, well, um, that doesn't really seem like a very fair matchup. Well, first of all, I will say that I do enjoy chicken livers, especially if they're wrapped in bacon and they're prepared really well. Those can be very good. But chicken livers, I will tell you, is also the number 64 seat. So um, that, of course, that always, you know, that represents that one basketball team that kind of squeaks into the tournament and you never really think that they're going to make any noise. And most of the time they never do. Um, so that's why I kind of felt pretty good about putting chicken livers in there at uh, number 64. Burgers versus chicken livers. What could I n not live without? That's a very easy one. Burgers gets the easy win here. And moves on. Okay, now for our uh, second matchup here, we uh, will skip down to the bottom and uh, we'll kind of work our way up. We'll kind of skip around a little bit. We have cookies versus eggs. Now, um, some of these things you're going to wonder about too, because some of these things are individual ingredients and they will appear in some of these other foods. And you might be thinking, well, that's kind of not fair. That's kind of um, cheating or whatever. Um, but I will tell you that when we're talking about something like an egg, and then you're talking about something like a burger, like an egg could be put on a burger, and that is something that happens. That is a, a type of burger that you will see, a burger topping that you will see a lot. If I eliminate eggs, does that mean that you could never have an egg on a burger? No. Um, that means that eggs we're talking about presented in that form. So for instance here, eggs, cookies versus eggs. We're talking about uh, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, um, but in that form only and only eaten alone, that particular item. So cookies versus eggs, I would probably be much more disappointed if I could never have another cookie in my life. So cookies is gonna get the win on that one and will advance. Okay, let's jump back up here. Uh, we have chips versus cheese. Now that is a difficult one because I do enjoy cheese. I do enjoy a, a nice uh, slice of cheese. Uh, I enjoy cheese with crackers and that of course is eating cheese by itself as well. But then we're talking about chips and that's a pretty broad category. Now we're talking about things like um, tortilla chips, potato chips, um, all those different kind of snack foods. I'm not sure that I could go for the rest of my life without having any kind of chips 
or anything uh, of that nature. So I'm going to take cheese or uh, chips rather on that one, and I will say that cheese gets eliminated here. Okay, skip back down to the bottom. We have cheese steak versus mushrooms. An interesting one because every time I have uh, cheese steaks, uh, I always make sure that I put mushrooms on it as well. So um, kind of interesting that the, the ingredient is going against itself, so to speak. Mushrooms by itself, I love mushrooms, big mushroom guy. Mushrooms by itself or cheese steak. Could I survive without ever having a cheese steak again? Actually, yes, I think I probably could. Uh, I do enjoy mushrooms in a, a lot of different forms. I like it when they're sauteed. I like when you grill them. You can make, you can take a big portobello mushroom and make a, a type of burger out of it. This might be our first upset here because uh, I'm going to say mushrooms. We'll move on in this one. Okay. Back up to the top, desserts versus tomato juice. Now, for a lot of people, you might be thinking, well, that is a no-brainer. However, I will tell you that tomato juice is my favorite overall drink. I actually drink tomato juice every single day. Uh, I absolutely love tomato juice. Now, could I do without ever having tomato juice again? Could I do without ever having desserts of any type again? My sweet tooth is not as great as my taste for the savory treats. So for me, tomato juice wins this one. Maybe another upset for a lot of people, I'm sure. Okay, back down to the bottom, soup versus potatoes. Uh, I love soup, I love all different kinds of soup. I could live without potatoes. I do enjoy mashed potatoes. I like a lot of different types of potatoes, uh, but soup will win this one. Okay, now up to pierogies versus pretzels. I'm Polish. I've eaten a ton of pierogies in my life. I love pierogies. I'm sure probably a lot of you have never actually had a pierogi. Um, if you ever get the opportunity, I would say definitely try them because they're fantastic. Um, pierogies versus pretzels. I love pretzels as well. I could live without them if I had to. Pierogies moves on. Okay, and finally, that gives us nachos versus lamb. Uh, nachos is uh, one of our number two seeds. I love nachos. Um, I actually, is it a number two? Uh, yes, it is a number two seed. Um, I love nachos. Uh, I love lamb as well. Uh, however, nachos will easily get by on this one. So our second round is set in region one. Okay, and I can already tell you from as much time as it took to do that first region, we're going to do this in four parts. Uh, so we will go ahead and set region one aside and we will bring forward region two. Okay, here we go. So for our number one seed here, we have pizza versus popcorn. I love pizza. It's one of my absolute favorite foods. Um, popcorn, I'm, I, I, I'm okay with popcorn. I don't wildly love popcorn, so pizza wins very easily here. Okay, down to the bottom, pancakes versus fruit. Uh, that's an interesting one because, again, fruit can be put on pancakes. Um, but we're talking about just that item in general. So pancakes, nice breakfast food. You can have it for dinner, very tasty, nice and sweet. But fruit, we're talking about all different types of fruit. I love fruit. Could I get by without ever having another piece of fruit in my life? I think I would be very sad if that happened. Fruit moves on. Okay, back up to the top. We have rice versus shellfish. Um, I like rice. Um, I don't love rice, but I like rice, and I think it's a good side dish. It can be a, a big part of any meal. Absolutely love shellfish. I love crab. I love lobster. I love shrimp. I love uh, all different types of um, seafood like that uh, outside of just fish, because we do have fish in a separate category. We're talking specifically about shellfish here. Shellfish wins. Okay, back down to the bottom, we have candy versus bagels. That's uh, an interesting one um, because we're not talking about chocolate candy here. I have chocolate as a separate item. Um, also, bagels, that's one of the things that, you know, I, I'm okay with them, but I don't absolutely love them. Um, but I'm also not wildly crazy about candy. Usually, if I want something like that, I'm going to reach for a chocolate bar rather than something sugary, a hard candy, taffy. That includes all of those kinds of things. Um, overall, I like more options uh, available to me there uh, with the candy than the bagels, 
So Candy will get the win. Okay, back up to the top, we have pie versus veggies. Um, nice sweet treat, of course, versus all different types of vegetables. Um, I love chocolate pie, French silk pie. Those, you know, that's some of my favorite kind. Um, veggies, I suppose the right answer here would be veggies would win because uh, if we want to be healthy, obviously we have to eat our veggies. I could live, I don't know that technically I could live without veggies, but I could live without veggies. So we're going to go with pie on this one. Okay, and then down to the bottom, chicken versus pork. Interesting, two proteins going against each other there. Um, I will tell you that I do eat more chicken than pork. Um, I like uh, pulled pork. Um, I like uh, pork chops. Uh, I don't eat them very often, but I, I do like those kinds of things. But chicken is so versatile. You can use it in so many different types of things. Chicken wins on this one. Okay, up to the top, donuts versus sausage. That's interesting. Um, I do love donuts, and uh, I'm again, I'm Polish. Uh, you know, Polacks eat a lot of sausage. We we have kielbasa, we have uh, smoked sausage. Um, we have we use sausage in a lot of different recipes and things like that. I've eaten a lot of sausage, uh, a lot of different types. Um, but I think in this case, donuts will get the win. It's an interesting round two matchup that that sets up: pie versus donuts. Okay, and then finally we end up with chili versus steak. Chili is one of my um, top seeds. I can't remember. I think, yeah, it's a number two. It's a number two seed. Um, so chili versus steak. I like steak. Uh, I am not as big of a steak fan as I am of some, some other uh, forms of red meat. Um, ground beef, uh, roast beef, those kinds of things. Um, but chili versus steak, chili wins easily. I absolutely love chili. Okay, did a little shuffling there uh, on my display, and now we come to region three, and we start out with hot dogs versus oatmeal. Do I really have to say anything about that? Guess who wins that one? Hot dogs moving on. Okay, down to the bottom, ice cream versus deli meat. Now, this might be uh, a, a, an upset in a lot of people's minds. I know everybody's crazy about ice cream. Uh, Mrs. Goblin will tell you that I am crazy because I'm not a big fan of ice cream. I really don't care for ice cream a whole lot. Um, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. I, it's not like I will never eat it, um, but usually it's not going to be my first choice uh, of something to eat. Deli meat, on the other hand, I love luncheon meat, uh, especially if it's very well made. Um, yeah, deli meat's going to beat out ice cream, so that might be an upset there. Okay, back up to the top, soda versus pickles. Um, probably seems like a no-brainer for a lot of people. However, I've said, if you've watched all of my videos, I've said many times, I'm not a big carbonated drink fan. Um, I, I don't drink a lot of carbonated drinks. Um, and I absolutely love pickles, as you've also seen from my other videos. So guess what? Pickles is moving on. Okay, back down to the bottom, hot and sour soup versus olives. Hot and sour soup is probably my favorite type of soup. I always get it when I go out to uh, any type of Asian restaurant, anything that, that serves that kind of soup. Uh, I love olives as well. I love green olives. I love black olives. I love Greek olives, uh, all the different types of olives, uh, very high on my list. That's a tough one. Um, I, and I also like my favorite, uh, adult beverage is the Bloody Mary. And I always put olives in my Bloody Marys also. So that's a tough one right there for me. Hot and sour soup versus olives. Could I live without ever having another bowl of hot and sour soup? Could I live without ever having another olive? Um, olives is going to get the win there. It's going to be a, a squeaker. Uh, I would say that one goes to overtime, but Olives, Olives gets the win. Okay, up to the top. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, peanut butter and jelly versus bread. Um, so obviously, if you're having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you're going to have bread. Uh, now, when we're talking about bread, we're talking about all the different types of bread. White bread, wheat bread, potato bread, rye bread, any just general bread. Uh, and specifically now, we're talking about peanut butter and jelly. So now you're talking about eating that bread by itself, of course. Um, I think in this case, I would say PB&J will get the win. Um, just because I think flavor-wise, um, if you gave me an option of, 
okay, do you want a, uh, a slice of bread, some kind of bread, or do you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I'm going to go PB&J. Obviously, this is not a foolproof system, just my idea. Uh, down to the bottom, peanut butter versus coffee. Interesting that PB&J and peanut butter ended up in the same region. That was just luck of the draw, according to that random number gen generator. Peanut butter versus coffee. I love peanut butter. A lot of different things you can do with peanut butter. I Easily, I can tell you, I could not live without coffee. Uh, if it came down to peanut butter versus coffee, one of those I could never have again, I could get by without peanut butter. Okay, back up here we have salad versus fish. Now salads, we're talking about all different types of salads. So now we're talking about your general garden salad. We're talking about Caesar salad. We're talking about just any kind of salad that you can think of versus fish. Uh, I love fish, uh, lots of different types of fish. I love grouper, I love walleye, I love cod, I love freshwater fish, I love saltwater fish. That's a very broad category. Salad versus fish. I love salads too, and especially Caesar salads. I absolutely love Caesar salads. Um, in this case though, I think we're going to say fish will get the win. A um, little bit more options there, um, so I, I think we'll say fish. And finally, we end up with our number two seeds, uh, seed. Subs versus chocolate. That may be the matchup of the tournament. Um, that is a tough one. I love subs. I love them hot. I love them cold. I love all different types, uh, different types of bread, Cuban sandwiches, just the general hoagie rolls, uh, and then chocolate. And I'm not sure that I could live without chocolate. Uh, now, I could still encounter chocolate in some form, um, but... Could I live without ever having straight up chocolate again? Could I live without ever having a sub again? And in this particular case, once again, I'll go back to the fact that, and, and this was actually, uh, I did a genetic test and uh, there actually is a gene. I didn't, I never knew this before I did the genetic test. There is a gene that determines whether you prefer sweet treats or salty treats. And I have the gene that, um, uh, makes you prefer salty and savory treats over sweet treats. So I do prefer things like subs. And in this case, I will say that the subs are gonna defeat the chocolate. Again, a very narrow one. This might be a double overtime win, but subs are gonna move on. Okay, and finally we come to region four. And I hope you guys are able to see all of these things. Okay, so um, this, uh, so here we end up with uh, our first our uh, first matchup, our number one seed tacos uh, versus cashews. Cashews are my favorite type of nut. Uh, I, I like other uh, things as well, almonds and peanuts, um, different types, but uh, cashews are my favorite, especially if they're roasted, if they're lightly salted, those are fantastic. But versus a taco, that's no, no problem, hands down tacos. Like I said, you guys are either going to think this is ingenious or you're gonna think this is the stupidest thing you've ever seen so we'll see how these videos go uh, down at the bottom we have pasta versus cereal uh, pasta is a very broad category I like a lot of different types of pasta um, cereal I enjoy cereal uh, especially if it's the sweeter cereals um, I'm not a big cereal eater overall um, but on occasion I do enjoy it but in this case pasta will get the win Okay, back up to the top, we have gyros versus fries. Fries come with everything these days. Um, I've had a lot of good fries. I've had uh, some not so good fries, but um, you get a lot of different types of fries, the thin fries, the steak cut fries, the thicker ones. Um, but then we have gyros, and gyros are one of my favorite uh, types of sandwiches. Um, gyros will win out on this one, even though it would be hard to say goodbye to fries. Um, this is going to be a, a narrow victory as well. Not an overtime win. Uh, I think Euros wins it in regulation, but Euros move on. Look at this one. Tacos versus Euros in the next round. Interesting there. Okay, down to the bottom. Waffles versus duck. Now you might be thinking it's kind of interesting that duck would be on here. I do enjoy duck. Um, and I've had some duck prepared very nicely. I've had some really good, well-cooked duck over the years. Uh, waffles... 
Um, it's one of those take it or leave it type of foods. A lot of those breakfast foods I can kind of do without. Um, however, I do love chicken and waffles. I absolutely love chicken and waffles. Um, but in this case, I'm going to go with duck. Back up to the top, grilled cheese versus ham. Now, um, ham, especially at Christmas time, I love ham. A nice ham steak, uh, a nice spiral cut ham. Um, but then we're talking about grilled cheese, and grilled cheese is one of the absolute finest pleasures uh, in the culinary world as far as I'm concerned. It's one of the easiest things that you can make, uh, and it's one of the tastiest things that you can make. Grilled cheese is going to beat out ham. Okay, back down to the bottom, we have cake versus turkey. Um, that's, a, that's an interesting matchup, huh? That's a, a two very polar opposites there. So we're talking about any type of cake, birthday cakes, um, any kind, kind of celebration cakes. And then, of course, we're talking about turkey. And immediately, I start thinking about Thanksgiving. And uh, I like turkey outside of Thanksgiving, of course. But um, turkey, it... You don't, you tend to not have it prepared the way that you get it at Thanksgiving, except at Thanksgiving. Uh, a lot of times you'll get it on a sandwich as a deli meat, something like that. But then at Thanksgiving, you have that nice roast bird and there's nothing that compares to it. Again, going back to the uh, savory over the sweet, in my case, turkey wins. Back up to the top, milkshakes versus bacon. Um, bacon was one of those things that, if not for the rule that Walter and I came up with, that uh, a single item uh, couldn't be higher than a nine seed. Uh, if not for that rule, bacon would have been a, a top, it, they would have been in the top eight. Um, so in this case, milkshakes versus bacon. I love milkshakes. Also, that's the one type of ice cream that I, I really kind of like, um, but bacon will easily win. And then finally, we come down to sushi versus barbecue. Now, for a lot of people, if this came up in your bracket, uh, you would probably, this is probably the most polarizing of all of the matchups that we have here because a lot of people would probably say it's a no-brainer. And uh, that could go either way. They may say, well, sushi. They may say, well, barbecue. I'm really not a big fan of barbecue. Um, I can take it or leave it. Uh, once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll get a, kind of a, a taste for it and want to have some barbecue. Uh, but I will eat sushi any day of the week at any time. And I will eat some massive amounts of sushi if you give me the opportunity. So sushi moves on in this one. Okay, so there we go. Our second round is set. We've uh, determined, we've eliminated uh, half of our field here. We've gone from 64 foods down to 32. Uh, there will be, obviously, three more parts to this video. I'm going to do a second round in the next video. Then I'm going to do the Sweet 16 and the Elite 8 together. And then I will do the Final Four and the Championship in the final uh, video. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you will come back and see those other parts. Um, if not, I will catch you the next time I put out a regular type of video, so stay with me.